Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Octopath Traveler. It's nearly the end of April and I haven't played this game since January, so... Yeah, uh, I should play some Octopath Traveler. Uh, first up, uh, last, sorry, last time you'll remember we helped Tressa complete her first chapter. She's over here being adorable. Hey Tressa, I love you. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is make our way to Ulberic's town and start out his little quest. Uh, so, let me take a look. Yeah, so we've got these four party members. You can see Tress is a bit underleveled though, so we're going to be walking there rather than uh, warping. Although we've already been to the next town, which is, uh, we the world map here, Cobblestone. We could warp to Cobblestone, but we're not going to. Uh, instead, we're going to walk there so that Tracer can get some experience. I probably should have done this off camera, but I forgot to. Uh, not that way. Kind of wish the map would show you, like, the basic layout of where you can walk, because it is a little hard to tell sometimes. Even though there's a little radar. But you, but you, Tress is me, I am Tressa. Uh, you're weak to wind magic and fire magic. All of you are weak to spears. I think I might lead with Trade Tempest. Yeah, only one is weak to that, but that's okay. Then we can use Fireball, which they're all weak to, to do a bit more damage. Okay, then we got Harnet here. Uh, what beasts do we have? Uh, Forest Fox had a sword. Can I catch any of these? I can. Let's try to catch this one, the one that's got more skills. Uh, yes. It's stronger than the other one, so let's swap them around. Uh, uh, one of these ants we don't need. Yes. Okay, uh, then let's use some nice powerful luminescence. And we're good. Dun, da, 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 da. You can see Tressa will level up reasonably fast at this point because we're so early in the game. Like, she's so low level compared to everyone else. And we're facing, you know, level 11 monsters roughly. So she should catch up with the others without too much effort. Although this area has a lower danger level, so maybe not. We'll see how we go. Uh, we also found some money left behind because of her cool little power. Uh, just go around this way, there we go. Ba, da, 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 da. So Olberic is the next guy we're going to be meeting, and he is in this direction, I believe. Stoneguard Pass, uh, maybe not that direction. Because yeah, Stoneguard is over there, and we're not high enough level to go that way. Well, we, we could, but it'd be risky. Okay, we don't know your vulnerabilities yet. Let's start finding them out. Okay, dark magic, which we don't have. Light magic, which we do have. So we can lead with some of that. Okay, you're both from normal to light magic. But that bird is not. Uh, let's try... Lightning? Nope. It's worth a try, but that was not it. What about wind? Okay, birds are weak to wind. Uh, I tried lightning already. Let's just try my bow. Yeah, it's not that I work to bows, Coming that makes sense. Uh, okay, you're not weak to lightning. What about fire? Nope. Hmm. My turn now. What about pole arms? Nope. What about, we tried light already. Staves? You're not weak to saves, but you died anyway. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Ding. Tress is now level 8. I think we might be able to teach her another job, actually. Let's have a quick look. Not job, job skill. Let's have a quick look. Tressa. Yes, we can learn another one. Um, hmm. Donate BP is really good, uh, because you can boost someone a lot faster than normal by giving boost points from Tressa to someone else. 
Oh, I might get rest first, though. And I get a support skill, endless items. I forget what that does. When a character with this skill uses an item, there is a 25% chance the item will not be consumed. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, cool. Can we learn anything else yet? Uh, we can, actually. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, I think Revive is probably going to be very useful, so let's learn that. Get a support skill. Uh, hmm, how about... I think Take Aim sounds good, let's learn that. Okay, and then we get two more support skills. Inner Strength increases the max SP of the equipped character by 50. Which is great, because you can do a lot more special abilities and stuff. Eagle Eye, critical hit rate increases by 50. Also good. Okay, um... I see you over there, chest. You'll be mine before long. Inspiriting Plum. Ah, uh, there's cave here too. Level 15. Mm, no, I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, battle time. Okay, we know some vulnerabilities already. They're all weak to dark magic, which we don't have yet, which is unfortunate. Um, let's try ice, maybe? Nope. Come in, if thou darest. Here I go. Uh, maybe wind. Okay, those birds are weak to wind. I'll not be defeated. Um. Yeah, these um. Rockadillo, I think they're called. They have really high armor, which is super obnoxious. Um, hit real hard with the Trade Tempest. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ophelia leveled. Nice. Uh, Tricer's gonna slow down a little bit as she levels up, because that's how experience works in these kind of games. Um, but we're doing okay. Doing okay. Slow down in terms of leveling speed, I mean. Uh, in case that wasn't clear. South Cobblestone? I'm not sure if this is where I'm supposed to be or not. I've forgotten exactly where to go. Don't want to waste too much of the video looking around, but I also want to get a decent amount of experience. Let's look at the map here. Uh, okay, the connection to Cobblestone, yeah, it's from here. This is, this is where we want to be. Okay. We also got some money, which is good. You can use that to pay for the inn. Having Tresser in the party is really helpful for that reason. Also because she's super cutie and I love her. Okay, here's Cobblestone, we made it. Uh, we'll take these guys out first for the experience. Okay, they're weak to pole arms, bows, hmm. Uh, let's, let's try this pole arm. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know it's gonna work, but let's use this pole arm. And then let's try Luminescence, maybe? Okay, that guy's not weak to light. They look very similar, I thought they might have similar weaknesses, but they do not. Uh, let's try Fire. Nope. Uh, what about... Bows? Yep, you're weak to bows, okay. Ice? Nope. I'm guessing swords. Oldbrook has swords, so a lot of guys are probably going to be weak to swords nearby. Cyrus leveled. <laughs> okay, Tress is a little stronger than she was before, so I think we should be alright for the time being. Uh, we're now arriving in Cobblestone though. So first up we're going to hit the inn, which is here somewhere. Over there. 
rest, 94 leaves. You can see you get a lot more than that every time you change rooms because of Trust's power, so you're not going to have money troubles if you've got her in the party uh, and you're trying to level up, which is good. Uh, I'll throw down a save as well. There we go. Okay, so this is Olbrook here. We're going to talk to him. Those brigands. What villains would take a defenseless child as a hostage? Hold fast, Philip. I'm coming for you. His name is Olberic, and he is a warrior. Here in Cobbleston, a remote village in the Highlands, he hires out his sword under the assumed name of Berg. Once a great knight, he lost both land and liege, as well as his reason for wielding a sword. Yet one faithful day, bandits raid the village he now calls home, stealing off with his protege, the young Philip. Oberic takes sword in hand and sets off again after the bath the brigands, sorry. <laughs> he will need worthy allies in the path he has chosen. Yes, I'll take Oberic along. Let's see the beginning of the tale. Ah, yeah, this is gonna have to happen. You need to swap out Oberic with someone else because the party can only hold four people. Unfortunately, uh, he has a sword and a pole arm. So I think replacing Tressa is our best move because she has a pole arm and a bow, and we already have Hana with a bow. Uh, so for the time being, Tressa is going to be out of the party. I'm going to bring her back because I love her, but we're going to swap her with Alberic for now, unfortunately. There we go. Hear the beginning of the tale? Yes. Eight years ago. Majesty's camp, sir. Just so. Our foe attacked from both flanks. We have no orders from the crowd. This concerns me. His Majesty is well guarded, sir. Sir Earhart is with you. I know this. There is no stronger knight in the realm, other than yourself, of course. With Sir Earhart at his side, surely His Majesty is in no danger. Perhaps not, but we must be certain. I would know how the battle unfolds. Besides, word from the king always lifts the men's spirits. As you wish, sir. We will hold this ground. Be safe, and may the gods guide your blade. And yours, Sir Elbrick. Okay, I'm still not super interested in him so far, but let's keep watching. Majesty's own guard, slain to the last man. Who could have done such a thing? Erhart, where is Erhart? Was he betrayed by Erhart? Is that what happened? It was you. Yep. My leash. Earhart, what is the me? 
meaning of this? What? What have you done? Killed the king. Hell yeah. Kings are the worst. Have you not eyes? The king is dead by my hand. What madness? What treachery is this? No madness here. I call it treachery, if you will. I thought you a friend. A brother! Ah! Brothers indeed. How many times did we cross swords like this in the practice yard? And how many times have I told you? I see your every move, your every strike before it falls. As I see yours. Ah, but you've not seen everything. I saved one trick for the day I knew would come. <laughs> Always the same dream. <sighs> ah, Philip. What is it? Crivens! How did you know it was me, sir? One must always oh, be on look his how little Philip is. Even when he rests. Yes, a knight. No, I am no knight. Just a man with a sword. There's nothing more. If you say so, sir. But there's lots of men what carry swords that can't do half of what you do. What a cutie. Oh, I almost forgot, sir. The headman's looking for you. Says he wants a word. He didn't say about what. Tell him I'm on my way. Yes, sir. I'll go on ahead and let him know, sir. He'll be in the square. You know the one. How many years has it been since Hornberg fell? My liege lost. My land in ruin. I wandered aimlessly. After a time, I came to this village. Here, I earned my keep as a hired sword. Hiding behind another man's name. Defending the villagers from bandit raids. Teaching young men how to handle a blade. Not a glamorous life, but it puts food on my plate. A man like me knows only the battlefield. Worth only as much as the blade at my side, and the arm that swings it. When that blade fails to save my sworn liege, what does that make me? For years, I've asked myself that question. No answer still. At least, not one I like. One thing I do know is that I owe this village a debt. A debt I intend to repay. But, that's enough brooding for one morning. <laughs> the headman's waiting. It's kind of amusingly self-aware that he called it brooding. Uh, Berg, sir. Ho there. Dawn patrol, sir. Nothing to report. I see. Good to hear it. Mm -hmm. Two of you today. Usually, only one man does the rounds. Yes. I, sir, Hedman thought it best. There's brigands in the hills of late. <clears throat> Poor merchant gutted for his coin purse just yesterday. It was a grisly sight, sir. Indeed. These are dangerous times. One can never be too careful. I hear the Hedman is looking for me. Just so. Ah, he mentioned that, sir. He should still be over in the square. Now, if you'll excuse us, sir. Morning patrol, resume rounds.
Okay, this is where the game becomes playable. So this would be where you'd start if you chose Ulbrick. Um, which we didn't, of course. We chose Ophelia, but for the moment, we've got to do Ulbrick's little starting bit. Uh, there's a friend. We're actually looking for... I guess this is the headman? Hello. Oh. Ah, Berg. There you are. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. Philip's mother? She doesn't have a name? Hmm. Morning to you both. Philip said you wanted to speak to me. Ah. Yes, yes, I'll get straight to the point. We've had reports of bandits in the hills. Bandit, bandit, bandits in the hills, not bandits. <laughs> I see. I see you've doubled the patrols. Oh, I yes. Yes, I was also hoping to ask for your aid. With bandits lurking, the villagers don't daren't venture into the hills. We cannot check the traps, nor collect firewood. It's quite the predicament, to say the least. Mm. Leave it to me. Where can I find these thieves? As for the precise location of their den, I fear I cannot say. I sent some of the men out searching, but... Bird, sir. In the meantime, could you put the militia through their drills? I'm in a keen, but they don't know a pommel from a pike, if you get my meaning. As you wish. Consider it done. Beg pardon? Uh, sir, if twould not be a burden, might my Philip join in the training? So you could have given her a name, and then when she said that, we'd know she was Philip's mother. <sighs> Shameful. <laughs> if he is willing, so am I. Oh, he's more than willing, sir, I assure you. Been pestering me for weeks to ask you. <laughs> That's a brave lad. The boy has pluck and ambition, and he could find a worse man to look up to than Berg here. Aww. Ever since my husband died, in the war, you know. Hmm. It's just, the boy's getting to that age when he needs a father. Are you going to try to marry Olberic so that he gets a dad, or what? <laughs> oh no, I did not mean to say... Your boy is already a credit to the village. It would be my honour to train him. How can I ever repay you? You were too kind, sir. <laughs> it's settled then. Train the lad well, and see that he does his mother proud. Why doesn't you have a name? I will. Path actions. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Try pressing Y in front of a townsperson. Alberic can challenge townspeople to a duel. Can't challenge you, I can challenge these. Now you might be wondering, how is challenge different from provoke, which is Harnet's action, which lets you fight people by provoking them. And basically the difference is that this game has a class system. Um, not like a, you know, class system in the sense of this is a warrior, this is a, this is a magician, this is a dancer, this is a merchant, whatever. A class system in the Marxist sense of the term. Uh, basically you have eight characters, four of them are bourgeois and four of them are proletariat. The game actually calls it Noble and Rogue, but it's basically the same thing. So the four Noble characters have the same actions as the four Rogue characters, but slightly different in behaviour. So, um, Olberic is Noble, so his challenge, if you challenge someone, it'll just always work, basically. Whereas if you try to provoke someone to a duel, it might not work. You have a percentage chance. Uh, Tressa is noble, so when she talks to someone to buy things from them, she gives money and gets the thing. Whereas Therion, the thief, we haven't met him yet, but he's he's rogue. So his skill is basically the rogue version of, of buying things, which is to pickpocket people. So it has a percentage chance of working, and you get stuff for free. Uh, Ophelia's um, guide and Primrose's... Um, we haven't met Primrose either, but she has the same thing as Ophelia. She can have people follow her as minions, basically. Uh, but there's a chance of it failing. So basically, the way the difference is, you have, uh, you can either like have 
the noble action, which always works against people it will work against, but might cost money or something, and you have the rogue action, which does not cost money, uh, but has a chance of failing. And if it fails, your reputation falters. And you can get more reputation by spending a bit of money at the end, basically. So yeah, um, yeah, there's actually four path actions, and there are proletariat and uh, bourgeois versions of them. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna check out the uh, bourgeois version of Provoke now. You just go challenge, you say, yep, I'll deal with you. A battle, fair and square, two arms. It's always an honor to train with a warrior of your skill, sir. And yeah, it's exactly the same as if Harnet asked to challenge someone with Provoke. Um, I mean, almost exactly. Uh, we'll look at uh, Ulrich's skills while we're here. He has a level slash, which is pretty great. It attacks all foes with a sword, like it says. Uh, so if you've got a lot of enemies weak to swords, it's really great. Um, he's got some more stuff later, but yeah, he's got a sword, he's got a pole arm, and he's got level slash. Also abide, which increases your attack strength for three turns, as it says. So you might want to use that first if you need to buff yourself up to hit something hard. Okay, this guy is weak to swords, so we're not going to have too much trouble here. <laughs> Yeah, that was easy. It's kind of weird that I'm level 1 when I'm like an, an, an old warrior who used to be a royal knight or whatever. Hmm, very strange. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so that's that one, that challenge done. We'll probably level up after doing the second one. Uh, which is good. <laughs> it's no good, sir. We're no match for the likes of you. I'm not sure if they can actually win those fights at all. Like, you're very powerful compared to them, even at the beginning of the game. So, it's entirely possible that they can't win. Uh, but I don't really know for sure. Okay, let's, let's continue. You are too hesitant. It is important to protect yourself. That is true. This is true, sorry. You will never win a fight if you lack the courage to strike. Also, we broke his defenses before he had a chance to attack, so... You kind of cheated. If you say so, sir. You recall that Harnet had a very similar sequence in her opening that looked just like this, uh, but using her own skill because it's the same one. <laughs> Challenge. Yes. A battle, fair and square, two arms. Always ready to spar, sir. Let us fight with honor. I'm guessing this guy's also vulnerable to swords because, yeah, this is kind of embarrassingly easy. With each battle, I grow strong. And now we're level two. I think we need ten job points to get the first skill, so. It'll take a little while, but we'll get there. Gah, got me again. You attack with boldness, but you leave yourself open. And so a simple counter blow quickly strikes you down. You must remember, balance in all things, as all things should be. <laughs> balance, right. Well, I'll try to remember that, sir. That said, if you fought side by side, you might complement each other well. Indeed. I was just thinking that myself, sir. Just so. Better than the sum of our parts, eh, sir? <laughs> what do you say, friend? Fight side by side? <laughs> Two words are better than one, eh? What's this? Something the matter, sir? What? No, sorry, it's a fine idea. Train together, and you'll be capable soldiers one day. Yes. Sir. I thank you. The two of us will go on patrol then, by your leave. I see. Yes, good. If you would. <laughs> Sir, me next, please. You are not ready yet. You need to work on your form. Hey, come on! Aww. <laughs> mm. Do 
Do the drills I showed you, and you'll be sparring soon enough. You have talent, lad. I do? Cute. I see. Not many boys your age take to the sword so quickly, and I've trained my share. <laughs> Crivens! Thank you, sir! Or is it Crivens? I don't know. My father, he's, you know, gone, sir. Died in the war? So I've heard. Mother's looked after me ever since. All on her own, sir. But soon, soon I'll be a man grown, and it'll be my turn to take care of her. <laughs> she is a lucky woman to have a son so brave. Hey, thanks. So you see why I've got to get stronger, sir? I have to protect Mother, she can protect herself. Come on, Philip. And everyone in the village. After all she's done for me, I owe her that much. I too once had someone to protect. Sir? It's nothing, lad, just old memories. Keep at your training, and you'll be a strong man before long. You've got it. I will, sir. Mayhap I should make a round of the village. Head out on patrol. Oop, something's happening. Brigands, we're under attack! B Berg, sir! Brigands from the hills! Ah. ah, these dirty peasants don't know their place. We outnumber them, surround them! Stick a blade in their backs before the boss finds out swineherds slowed us down. Do your worst, you brutes. That's right. You'll not be getting past us. Damn it. Damn it all. These swineherds know how to fight. Look. Sir. I swear on my blood. Good work, men. You did well to hold them off. But I'll take over from here. Arts and who in the hells are you supposed to be? <laughs> He's a bleeding fool if he thinks he can take us all. So you've got a fancy blade, eh? I know your sword, Edge Knight. I've cut down my share of your betters. The hell? I'm telling ye, this one's trouble. Indeed. You both have the right of it, and but a common Hedge Knight with no name to speak of. How about you? But if you've come looking for trouble, you've found it. <laughs> Stow it or cut out your tongue. Aye. Enough prattle, let's skewer him. Okay, am I fighting? Yep, all three of them. My goodness. I'm gonna assume that a level slash will help a lot, so I'm gonna leave with that. Yeah, I was right. Do I just want to keep level slashing, or what? Hmm. Actually, if I do that, and then let them all attack, and just tank it, I can break them all in one level slash, and they'll be out at the same time, which won't be good. Oh, no, they're all defeated. Doesn't matter. I level up? Oh, almost. I think I have enough JP to get us get the skill now though. Ten? I think that's right. You. You can handle a blade, aye, but this ain't the end of it. That's end right. of it. When the boss hears about this, you're a dead man, you hear? We'll see about that, won't we? Help, my boy! Hey, come on. Let me go, you ugly. Mm. Hmm? 
Oh no. Oh, Berg, sir, they, they took him from me. My poor Philip, he was trying to protect me, but those, those animals. Damn it all. Forgive me, sir, there were so many of them and... It doesn't matter now, we have to save the lad. We know where they are now, hold up in a cave, deep in the mountains. Indeed. Then let's go, gods only know what, we'll do, what they'll do to him. Wait. But sir, we have to do something. They might kill the boy. No. If you leave now, who will protect the village when the thieves return? No, you'll be playing right into their hands. God's a mercy. Is there nothing we can do, sir? I see. I'll go after the boy. <laughs> Alone? But sir, even you. Mm. You stay and guard the village. At least until you're sure they're not coming back. Oh. Chief? Forgive me. You were the boy's... our only hope. Can you do this, Berg? As you wish. Consider it done. Oh, heaven. Please, sir, bring him back safe. I swear on my blade. You have my word. Why didn't he say, I swear on my blade, if that's what the voice says? Hmm. And so I must go and save the boy from those ruffians. What's that, you say? You wish to lend me your aid? Hmm. You seem like you could hold your own on the battlefield. It would be my honour to call you a comrade. Philip has been taken to the brigand's den north of the village. We must make haste. Albrecht joined the party. Okay, um, so we have done the first half. We met Albrecht, and we're going to be headed to the brigand's den in the next video, because that's all we're doing for now. There it is, brigand's den. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm still not super chuffed about Ulbrich as a character, but, you know, he'll be useful to have in the party, if nothing else. Uh, are we all fully healed? No, Ulbrich needs a rest. A room will cost you zero. Interesting. I wonder if it's based on how damaged you are, as well as what levels you are. Because Ulbrich was pretty weak and low level, so... Okay, just throw down a save, there we go. Next time, we head for Brigand's Den. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Da, 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 da. Da, do, 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 do.